love, love, love this book. It is called Because of an Acorn. Maybe some of you have read it before. I don't know. Maybe some of you have, some of you haven't. And we're going to do a really cool activity where we're going to talk about some of the animals and the life cycles in this book. All right. Hopefully all of our friends are joining us and I know a few people are still coming on. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. My name is Monica and I'm with the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission and we're going to talk today about seeds. So we'll go ahead and get started and while we're reading our book, I have all of you guys on mute and then once uh, we do our activity, um, I'll probably take all of our friends off so that we can talk about some cool things. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. We're going to read Because of an Acorn. It's kind of a short book. All right. Because of an acorn, who has seen an acorn before? Raise your hand if you've seen an acorn before. You know what an acorn is. It's a little tiny seed and it kind of looks like that. Sometimes they look different, but they look like that most of the time. All right, so because of an acorn, a tree. Do you guys know trees come from seeds? And this acorn makes an oak tree. All right, so because of a tree, a bird. How many of you guys have ever seen a bird in a tree before? Who's seen a bird in a tree? Who's seen lots of birds in trees? Yeah. Because of a bird, a seed. Look at all those little seeds. Can you guys show me with your hands how big seeds can be? Are they really, really little? Are they medium size? Or can they be really, really big? Show me with your hands. Are they big? Are they little? Or are they like medium size? Yeah. All right. So look at the bird eating the, the beetle too. He was hungry. Because of a seed, a flower. Who knows what this animal is right here? I see people saying toad or frog. Good. Because of a flower, a fruit. So did you guys know that fruits start off as seeds and then they go to flowers and then they become fruits? Who has eaten a fruit this morning? Did anyone have a banana for breakfast? or an orange or a strawberry or a blueberry? Some people I bet did. All right, because of a fruit, a chipmunk. Chipmunks will eat fruit. And then because of a chipmunk, a snake. What do you think happened? Do you think that what happened to the chipmunk? What, what did the snake do to the chipmunk, you think? Did he maybe eat the chipmunk? Maybe, maybe the chipmunk got away. Uh-oh, what's happening with the snake? Is the snake being eaten? So because of a snake, a hawk. How many of you guys have seen a hawk? They're really, really large birds and they have big talons that they eat other food with. Yeah, I see some people raise their hands. You have seen hawks, good. All right, because of a hawk, look, there's our snake again. So because of a hawk, an acorn. Because of an acorn, a forest. Who's ever been to a forest before? What's in a forest? Are there trees and birds and squirrels and lots of plants? Yeah. All right. So that was our book. That was all of our book. It was a really good book, wasn't it? There's lots of different animals in there and there's lots of different types of plants and seeds. And some of those animals we even have in Nebraska like hawks and snakes and birds. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna talk about 
some cool things that we mentioned in the book. So I'm going to go ahead and open my file here and we will share our screen. I have to reshare. I don't know why. All right, here we go. Hopefully everyone sees the big screen. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Um, do we wanna unmute our friends? So maybe we could talk about what these animals and things are. Do we wanna do that? All right, I think my co-host probably, there we go, can do that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about, I know some of you guys raised your hands at the beginning. So who knows what an acorn is? What's an acorn? So remember we read our book? we talked about an acorn. What is an acorn? What is an acorn? Yeah. That's why, Mama. Where's the acorn? Who knows what an acorn is? If you know what it is, go ahead and, and let me know. What's an acorn? I always do other cats. Do other cats. You see cats, cats with acorns? What's an yeah. acorn? What does an acorn make? Does anyone know? What does it grow into? What is an acorn? Is it a seed? Mm, yeah. yeah, I heard someone say seed. It is a seed. From a yeah, so an acorn will grow into a tree. All trees will come from seeds. So there's lots of cool seeds and there's different shapes and sizes, but they all go into, they grow into a tree. All right. So we talked in our book about trees and birds. Raise your hand if you've ever seen a bird in a tree. I know some of you guys raised your hand earlier. Maybe you've seen lots of birds in trees. So why do birds like to be in trees? Why do birds like trees? Why are birds in trees? What? To hide. Oh, I heard someone say to hide. Yeah. Why else might a bird be in a tree? Ooh, nest. Good. Good. So birds like to be in a nest. Some birds will make nests in trees. Some birds will make nests on the ground. We had a really good one in the chat, Monica, for protection. Ooh, that is good. Yeah, so trees sometimes, I heard someone say hide. So birds can hide in trees and they feel protected in trees because sometimes there's animals that want to eat them and they help hide the birds. How else do trees help birds? How many of you guys eat food that comes from a tree? Bugs. Yeah, there's lots of bugs that are in trees and there's worms and there's fruit and berries and seeds in trees. Good. All right. All right, so how many of you guys have ever seen a bird eating a seed? Maybe you guys have bird feeders at your house or you, when you've been driving, you see birds eating seeds. We have bird feeders. Yeah, maybe you guys have bird feeders. So how do birds spread those seeds? What do they do? They use them beaks to pick up their food. Yeah, they use their beaks and sometimes they will carry those seeds away back to their nest. And then those seeds will then grow into trees. How many we of you guys have bird feeders and you notice in the summertime little plants growing at the seeds where all the seeds are I do. Yeah, I see that a lot too. So those birds are spreading those seeds so that more trees can grow. Isn't that helpful? We had another interesting one in the chat. We said that um, that the birds will swallow the seed, and then they will go and they will they will poop it somewhere else. Yeah, did you guys know that that birds will eat seeds 
and then they will go poop somewhere else and that seed will then grow wherever that boot bird pooped isn't that funny a lot of animals will do that and that's how we get trees in lots of cool places that's cool yeah all right i have another question for you guys what kind of fruit comes from trees in our book we talked about because of a seed of fruit what kind of fruit will go and grow in trees Oh, I heard apple. What else? Oranges. Oranges. Bananas. Bananas. Thank you. Yeah. I heard pears. Mulberry. Yeah, mulberry is good. We have those in Nebraska, don't we? Um, what other kinds of fruit come from trees? Cherries, yeah. No, no, no. Are so smart. All of those fruits come from trees, and they start as seeds. And some of those seeds might have been from the birds, right? Yeah. All right. So now I have a question for you guys. Who knows what a predator is? Does anyone know what a predator is? Kind of a big word. I do. What's a predator? It's, um, it's like, it's like a lion with, um, a coyote. Ooh, good. So it's an animal that eats another animal. So like he said, a lion or a coyote. What do you think a coyote would eat? What kind of animal would a coyote eat? Rabbit. 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 Good. Rabbit. Bird. Chicken? Bird. Chicken? Chickens. Yeah, they could eat chickens. Worms. Yeah, so an animal that hunts other animals. Good. Did you guys know that a frog could be a predator? No. What would a frog eat? Flies. Flies or crickets or worms. So even though a frog doesn't have big sharp teeth or big sharp claws, it still eats other animals. Are you guys predators? Yeah. Are humans predators? Yeah, we can be. You're right. Yes. Yeah. So what is a prey then? Does anyone know what prey is? Um, a prey can a prey can be like chicken. Yeah, it's the animal that gets eaten. So a predator is the animal that eats other animals, and the prey is what gets eaten. So a chicken could be prey. What else could be something that would get eaten? Who is an elephant going to get eaten by something? Maybe it could. A lion. A lion can eat an elephant. A uh huh. A lion. Uh, someone said birds. Yeah, <laughs> birds could be get eaten by something else. Do you guys remember in our book what did the snake eat? What does the snake eat? The chipmunk. The chipmunk, right? So yeah, the chipmunk was a prey because he got eaten by something. And the snake was also a prey because of the hawk. Oh, that's a good point. The snake also got eaten by the hawk. So can an animal be a predator and prey? Yes. Yes, they can, right? A frog or a snake is a good example. They eat other animals, but then other animals will eat them, right? You guys are so smart. So smart. All right, we got a couple more questions, I think. All right, so you guys talked about the in the book, the acorns kind of found their way to the ground. How did the acorns get to the ground? What happened? They fell off the tree. They fall off the tree, you're right. Do animals move them to the ground, you think? Yes. Yeah. yeah. What's an animal that eats a lot of acorns? Squirrels. Squirrels and birds, right? So they eat a lot of acorns and sometimes they will pull them off of the tree and then they will put them on the ground. Or sometimes, what do they do before the winter comes with the acorns? They, they store them, save them. Yeah, they store them and they save them underground so that they have food for the winter time. Okay. All right, I think this is our last one. So we talked about on the very last page of our book, there was a forest. What are some things and some anything that you would find in a forest? What are some animals or plants? Poison ivy. Poison ivy? Bears. 
Yeah, deer. Good. What well, else did you find in a forest? Trees. 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 Good. Bears. Trees. Snakes. Snakes. Trees. Plants. Plants. Dreams. What color do you think the trees would be in the summertime? Green. Green. What about in the fall? What color would the trees be? Red. Red. Dark green. Colorful. Yellow. Red. What about purple? Purple. Maybe purple. Brown. Good. Orange. Orange. Good. All right. I'm going to stop sharing my screen here so that I can see all of you. All right. Cool. We learned a lot today about some different animals and some different seeds. So it was a more on animals and not just seeds, right? But are seeds important? Yeah. Yeah, seeds are really important. You guys saw all those animals that we talked about all because of one little acorn. We talked about fruit and birds and squirrels and forests all because of one single little acorn. All right. So thank you guys for joining me today. It was kind of short, but next week, Amanda's going to talk to us about winter. Winter. Yeah, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm just going to say winter. Okay, we're going to talk about winter next time. Do you guys think it'll still be winter next week? Yeah. Yes. How many of you guys are really cold out when you go outside? How many of you want it to be summer? Me. Yeah, I want to go outside and play in the snow, not in the snow. Yeah. I want to go outside and play in the snow. Maybe you do want to play in the snow. You're right. All right. Well, thank you, friends, for joining us today. We're going to go ahead and let you go, but remember to join us next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye, John. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.